Hello guys and welcome to another HackerRank video. Uh, this is my attempt to be active on YouTube because I don't post as much anymore. We're going to be looking at the beautiful triplets problem. We're given a sequence of integers, a, a triplet ai, aj, and ak is beautiful if i is less than j and j is less than k, meaning that if we have aj minus ai, it's going to be equal to ak minus aj, which is going to be equal to d. We're given an increasing sequence of integers and the value of d, count the number of beautiful triplets in the sequence. For example, if we're given the sequence 2, 2, 3, 4, 5, and d is equal to 1, there are exactly three beautiful triplets by index i, j, k. You guys can see that we're given the index here in ascending order. And then we're given some stuff here. So if you look at this problem, um, the easiest way to probably do this is to have a nested for loop, which would make this n cube, which is pretty bad solution, right? Uh, so let's go ahead and skip that. The next thing we want to look at is the hints that they give us. They say we have an increasing sequence of integers here. Ah, it says, hey, yeah, that makes kind of sense, right? We can actually use binary search for this. But even binary search for this problem is probably too much. However, it's an it's a way of doing it, so we can actually try that approach, right? So the thing is, how do we use binary search on this, for example? And we can just pick the numbers three, four, and five. And bear in mind, I have not created any submissions for this problem, so we are going to be doing just that. Uh, I'll verify this stuff and we're going to be just implementing stuff pretty much all right so let's go ahead and see how we can actually compute the for the values uh three four and five so we have uh three four five damn my five is bad and uh d is going to be equal to one yeah. All right. So let's say we're at the value three. So it's just going to be three plus d. And since d is equals to one, we're going to get four. It means that we can get the next value. So if we run this through a binary search, um, this is actually going to return as an index that's greater than the index of three because well, for bi the one prerequisite for binary search is that the array needs to be sorted. And so if it's sorted then the smallest number should have a smaller uh, index location. And for the next value, it just has to be three plus D, right, times two. So it would be three, so the division goes first, the yeah, multiplication goes first, my bad. So you're gonna get two times one is two, two plus three is equals to five and we get the next value. So if we apply binary search to this, we can actually get the answer in a much faster uh, faster way. But for this problem, it's not that necessary. The next thing to do is to actually utilize hashing for this. Hashing would be the simplest way to go ahead and do this. Why? Because we can just add the uh, values to the uh, uh, to a hash map or a hash set. We can get rid of the duplicates um, thus actually making the competition less and then the access time is going to be 0, 001 right and you check to see if it's in there it's going to be 01 so we can reduce this to an ON solution um, because we need to actually add everything in uh, in a linear fashion right? so let's go ahead and look at some implementations for this and this should be fun all right, so let's get started. So what we need to do is let's just keep an integer and let's call this one uh, trip. Let's, and this is gonna be equal to zero for now. And then we're gonna say for, and we're gonna utilize the for each loop and pass in the array here. And I guess we don't really need to even use uh, okay 
So if we say if and then we use the array class and we can use the binary method there. So unfortunately, I will not be creating a binary search method because um, that's just an overkill. And uh, since we're at A, so remember that we need to actually find the next value. So it's going to just be A plus D here. So we're going to pass in the array, which is the source. And then we're going to go ahead and pass in the key. This is going to be A plus D, right? So if this is greater or equal to zero, so I mean that it actually does exist and we can just copy this here and then we're gonna apply that for the next value. So this is going to be D times two right then what we're going to do is um, increment triplets so we're going to say plus plus uh, triplets and then all we need to do is pretty much just return that so I'm return triplets and this should be our first solution for this problem Let's go ahead and run this. For some reason, my internet has been really slow today, and I don't know why. So let's go ahead and run the other cases, and we're good to go here. So next, what I want to do is actually look at the hashing hashing method. So what we need to do here is let's just go ahead and get rid of this uh, for uh, for loop here. Uh, actually. Mm, I think we need that. So let's go ahead and do that again. Let's do uh, int a in the array. And what we need to do is create a set. So we're going to say set uh, of integers. And just call this set equal to new hash set. Alright, so um, let's do this. So let's say if a set that contains um, a, let's do nothing. So we're just I'm just trying to make sure that we take care of the collisions so that we don't actually try to um, figure out if it's a collision or not. Um, and then if if it doesn't contain a then we need to add it. So do set dot add a, and this is all we need to do. So we need to go ahead and uh, get a set of the values first. So what I'm just doing here, this is just a, a dead statement. It does nothing, then just check. And um, so if that exists, we don't have to um, try add it. Um, so that kind of takes care of the um, any of the collisions, right? Um, now we need to go again one more time. We'll say for int a and the array. And we're gonna say that if set that contains do a plus d and set that contains um, a plus D times two, then we just need to increment triplets. So we're going to say plus plus triplets. All right, and this would be a more appropriate solution for this problem. Let's go ahead and run it. And we're good here. And let's submit. All right, guys, this will be it for this problem. If you have any questions, please leave it down in the comment section below. If you have another problem you're interested in solving and you would want me to take a crack at that, please let me know. I'll see you guys in the next tutorial. Have a good day. Bye-bye.